So let me tell y'all about the time I dated a guy who hated me. This Sometimes when you're dating somebody who secretly hates you, they will make remarks about the way you look, let's say your style, your makeup, your hair, or one of your body parts. Love them. And this is why so many women say, you know, don't date down. When a man hates you, he's not going to tell you, but you will see signs. You're going to see signs. And when you see the signs, don't ignore it. Don't make excuses for him. Just listen. Because most of the time, these men do not speak with words. They speak by actions. So if some of them actually speak with words, they have thought about it in their hearts so much before they have the courage to speak it out. Like when a man starts, uh, you know, commenting on your looks and telling you, oh, the dresses you're wearing is too revealing, da 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 da. So many things. Just know that this man secretly hates you. How can a woman tell when a man secretly hates her? Do you have any suggestion? Kindly put your thoughts down in the comment section. I have a few videos to share with you all where women were like, mm, this is when I realized this man hates me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and watch these videos together and I'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video. So let me tell y'all about the time I dated a guy who hated me. This was like back in 2019 and I was dating a guy who was a bit younger than me, roughly five years younger to be exact. Well, after we had been dating for a while, I let him move in with me. I know, bad decision on my part. But I had let him stay with me, and prior to all of that, he had introduced me to all of his friends. Well, when his friends first met me, they thought that I was very beautiful. They thought I was very smart and strong and wise and all kinds of great things. But I noticed that anytime I would try to accept a compliment, he'll be like, oh, I already said it for you. Or if I was in their presence and they gave me a compliment, he never looked happy. Like he wasn't proud at the fact that they were complimenting me. I don't know, I guess he thought they were trying to get with me or something. I don't know. But anytime something exciting happened or if I accomplished something or I would tell him about something I was passionate about, he just seemed like he didn't care. And he would say, oh, that's good, but it was never genuine. But one thing I noticed was throughout our relationship, he always tried to do things to humble me. I noticed that he would say things like, okay, simmer down, simmer down. I would love to dress nice anywhere I went. So if we were going somewhere, even to the gas station, he would be like, just wear what you have on. I would have on like a pair of pajamas and a shirt with no bra. And when I tell you, he would hate it when I would be like, hey, let me put on something more presentable. he will be like, no, just go the way you are. And he would even insist on me getting out of the car. Anybody who knows me personally, you know that I don't like going anywhere looking like just anything. I don't have to always be a Barbie but I want to at least look presentable. But it seemed like he was always trying to make me look bad. So when we eventually broke up, I started to look back on those moments and be like, you know what? I'm grateful that this is over. So if you're a guy or a girl or whatever, and you have a partner that's always trying to humble you, they don't like you. Heck, they may even be secretly jealous. Who knows? But if they are like that, run. <laughs> Sometimes when you're dating somebody who secretly hates you, they will make remarks about the way you look, let's say your style, your makeup, your hair, or one of your body parts. At first, it comes off as concerned. While it starts off as if they're concerned, they'll say, oh, babe, I'm concerned about your weight, or I'm concerned about your belly, or whatever. And as time goes on, you start to feel that you constantly have to defend yourself and defend the way you look or defend the way you style yourself or your fashion or whatever it is. Because now it has switched up and this person is now being nasty and making nasty remarks and being sarcastic about the way you look. When somebody you love starts to say these things to you, you also start to question yourself and question the way you look or the way you do your makeup or whatever it is. And what this does is that it lowers your self-esteem and it lowers your confidence. And sometimes you might change the way you look or you might change your style because they are constantly complaining. And even when you do this, they still find something else to complain about. When you call them out on this, they say, I care about you, that's why I'm like this. When somebody truly loves you, they won't come for your looks, your fashion or whatever it is in a negative way. Instead, they will recommend something in a positive way or buy you something or make suggestions in a better way instead of making nasty remarks and making a joke about the way you look. When did you realize he hated you? When he told me I probably liked it when I was being a seed. What? After we had sex for the first time, 
and my first time ever, he got his Bible out and started showing me scriptures about how I was a Jezebel. He's a sociopath. He poured ice cold water over my head for squeezing his hand too tight while in hospital as I was having contractions having his child. My nurse couldn't believe it. We threw him out. There 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 are there there are men and there are men like when he grabbed me and threw me into the counter eight months pregnant because I wanted to talk about our relationship and he told me to shut up and go yeah. in my room. Yeah. I didn't listen. Oh, he's a child. Go in your room. Where's your daddy? He got mad at me every time I had a seizure. We so, definitely cannot make this shit up. So she's supposed to go home when she gets in her seizure or she's supposed to go... She's supposed to tell the seizure, no, don't come here. Yeah, he come around. on here. Excuse me? Wrong time. Yeah. A lot of women don't realize they hanging out with men who truly are jealous and envy them. You understand? And you be thinking that you're helping out these men because even though they don't have what you have, you're trying to help them, put them on, be there for them while they get and put on. whole time they are jealous of you, right? And I was just thinking about this because Tayana said Imam was jealous of her. And the signs of dealing with a jealous man is a man who's always talking about what you got, what you have, and, and why and he doesn't have it. This is the man that's like, if I went to school like you went to school, if I had the job that you have, if I, make, if I made the money that you made, if I had the time that you had, if I grew up in the house that you grew up in, if I had the daddy that you had, if I had the mama, if my folks spoiled me, like if I went to vacations like you went to vacations, you know what I'm saying? If I had the toys that you had, like these are, these are those type of individuals. And you got, you have to be, you have to peep them and you have to be careful of them. And this is why so many women say, you know, don't date down. It's not about materialistic things. It's about a spirit because, you know, so many women that you see out here being hurt and unalive, honestly, the root of a lot of those men ha are a jealous and envious spirit. These are the men that want you to get a joint bank account with them as soon as they hook up with you. Don't be out here getting no joint bank accounts with a man who's contributing 20% of income. Understand? Because, anyway, have a good day, y'all. He won't compliment you. People around you, his friends, family, whatever, coworkers will compliment you right in front of him. And he'll just be there like this bitch and all that. You know what I'm talking about. That's that's a sign right there that he's a fucking hater. Second, he will get irritated by you very easily. I'm telling you, like, even asking for, like, oh, can I get some water? Can you pass me the remote? Little things like that. He'll get so irritated. Give you, like, a look and act like it's you're asking him to go, you know, buy you a Rolls Royce. You know, it's, he makes it seem like the smallest thing is he, a huge favor. That's a sign that he can't stand you. He will put you down. Comment on your body on your your physical appearance you know say oh you need to lose weight you need to gain weight i like girls like this i like girls like that look at this girl compare you he will try to break you down and most likely if you told him something in private like a secret something that you've been through something dark that you don't want to go through again like a trauma he's gonna bring it back when you guys are arguing he's gonna use it against you and it's not gonna be pretty he's gonna act jealous and i mean jealous like not with other men jealous like envy you and your goals that you reach or want to achieve he is going to try to copy you or he's going to try to stop you from doing that so you can grow he's going to try to keep you in a box and small because he's jealous of you he envies you and he can't stand you he wants to be you probably i don't know the way these guys acting like bitches nowadays and it's so weird one thing about jealousy, some people feel like jealousy only happens with two girls or two friends or brothers and sisters. Jealousy also happens when in a relationship with a man, it can be jealous of you. It can be jealous of your success, can be jealous of the attention you get. It can be jealous of your aura. Like if you're married to somebody or you're in a relationship with somebody that... Anytime you guys walk into a room, you are the first person everybody want to talk to. You're very jovial, you're very friendly, and it's like the opposite 
if he's a jealous person, he's going to get very jealous of the attention that you're getting. He's going to get very jealous of the fact that everybody likes you. People even get jealous when they see you progress. Some men will get jealous of you because they're in a relationship with you. They will get jealous of you when they see that you're progressing, when they see that you're making money, when they see that you're getting successful more than them. Some of them is because of insecurity problem. It's because they feel like, oh, if these girls are making this amount of money, if these girls are getting this successful, I might not be able to control her. I might not, she might not be able to respect me the way I want her to respect me. You know, men we respect. They always they can do anything for respect. So some of them will get so jealous of you and they won't say it with their words that they are jealous of you. In fact, they will say the opposite and tell you, I am so happy for you. But then their action speaks louder. That's what I said in the, earlier in the video. These men will not tell you how much they hate you. They will show you how much they hate you. So when you start saying some things, stop lying to yourself and be like, I know he loves me. He doesn't. There was a podcast that I watched on TikTok where this guy called in and was like, I hate my wife. I do not like my wife. I've been married for her for over eight years and I don't like her. I, I love her, but I don't like her. I've, I've, I've never liked that. See, this man knows what they are doing. Imagine him pretending at home and being like, I love you, I love my wife. People are like, oh, my husband loves me. But look at him calling and expressing himself and saying, I never liked her. I don't like her. I don't really like her. You know how hurtful that is for somebody that you are in a relationship with, you are married, you are having babies with, going out there to tell people that he doesn't like you, right? So they will not say it to your face that they don't like you, but there are, there are actions that are going to show you, that will show that, mm, he hates me. <laughs> so when you start saying that action, you need to run because they are extra dangerous. They are extra dangerous when they start exhibiting that action. You all remember this lady in Kenya or in Uganda that we talked about that she got on her lives by her ex-boyfriend. He got jealous of her success. The other one that blended his wife to puree is also because of jealousy. Forget the fact that they might be having issues in the relationship. When a woman is successful, men are triggered. These men fear women's success, especially when they are in a relationship with you. They do not want you to be on top. They want to always be on top. So when you are on that top, <laughs> they fear you and they want to do anything just to take you down. That is why they keep complimenting or commending on things that they know that is your insecurities. If you're someone that you don't like your tummy to be very big, they've, they've seen that you don't like your tummy to be very big. That's what they keep saying all the time. Oh, your tummy is too big. Oh, if, it, if your tummy was flat, this close to love perfect on you. They keep making you feel bad for something that they know that is your insecurities. Can you tell when a man hates you? <laughs> Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section. Let's have conversation in the comment section respectfully as always. I thank you all so much for tuning in. It's your favorite girl again, Maya Davis. And don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And please turn on the post notification bell to get notified once I upload another interesting video. And I'll see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye.